Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to recreate a family memory with Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. We all have family stories that we love to tell, and what better way to preserve those memories than by creating a fun animated video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. All you need is a few family photos and some imagination. To begin, you'll need to jot down your story, and I have mine right here. Now, of course, this is just a fictional story that I made up, but it does give you an example of the length and kind of what I'm going for. So let's go ahead and go to my videos and click Create New Video. I'm going to use the whiteboard style, and I'm just going to title it, and I'm going to make it 1080p. The first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and upload the photo of the grandparents. So I want to go to props and then this blue and white little plus sign down here and then click browse. And here they are. These are just fictional grandparents as well. But of course you would use your actual photo. And I think that looks nice. And I did like that character holding a sign. So I just type in sign click characters, of course, and then type in sign, and you'll get some different options. Let's use this one. And click text, choose a font that you like. I'm gonna choose word wrap, and I wanna center it. Before I resize the text, let's make our girl a little larger. This way it looks like, you know, maybe it's the teenage granddaughter is our little uh, narrator. And that looks cute. Okay, so in my story, they are set up on a blind date that takes place in a coffee shop. So I have my new scene. You just click this little plus sign to create a new scene. And I'm going to go over here to the scenes tab because there just so happens to be a built in coffee shop scene. I'm just going to drag it on in. If you look over here, each individual item is displayed for three seconds each, and there's dozens of them. So what happens is this makes a really long one minute plus drawing sequence. And for some instances that might be fine, but for ours, I have a 30 second story max. I don't need all this drawing. So I want to go ahead and go Control or Command A for all, and that selects everything. Now I can right click in here and get my settings tool. And right here, duration, draw three seconds. Well, I'm going to turn that to zero. I don't need it to draw at all. That's all unimportant stuff to my story, it's background. So now my scene is half a second long. That will change as I add things to it. Let's go ahead and click characters. I chose Steve and Tina for my um, characters representing grandma and grandpa. I'm gonna have Tina just kind of walking into the place. I think just the standing right here will be fine. And I do wanna simplify this scene a little bit. So I'm gonna select some of these items and get rid of them. I just feel like there's way too many of them. Okay, so she's walking in. Now I need Steve. And in my story, Steve is, eventually he's gonna be falling asleep and we'll use that eventually. And we're just gonna put him, he's kind of disinterested from what I can tell. So we're just gonna have him just kind of waiting here, not looking terribly enthused. And I think I'm gonna change chairs here. Let's get to this chair. And go to props. I'm gonna have coffee sitting on the table. So remember, she's gonna have coffee spilling all over her. Now you'll notice that's in front of his face. Well, let's scroll down over here and move that. I'm adjusting the time that these things draw on. And then we're gonna need a little bit of time at the end of this scene. So we go to scene settings and at the end. Let's just do, let's do four and a half seconds. We may need to adjust that. 
And that's basically scene one. Scene two is going to be in the same exact location. So we're going to just right click and choose duplicate. Now I have an identical scene. Go back to the first one. And well, here, let me show you the preview real quick. I'm going to need to fix some of these things. Let me jump ahead. So, and this is what I want to show you. Boom, that swipe. But then it just swipes to the same thing, right? So let's go back to scene one, go to scene settings, and turn that swipe off. Exit animation, just turn that to none. And then now it's just going to go from that scene to that scene without the swipe, okay? So these are identical. Well, we want to change the characters. We want her to be sitting now, and then we want him to be sleeping. So let's go back to characters. Steve, all right, here's his tired one. So let's just drag that over and replace that. Oh, he got tiny. Okay, well, that didn't replace very well, but here we go. And then Tina, we want her sitting. Yeah, I think that'll be good because she's looking a little irritated at him. Let's get rid of that one. I'm gonna need to place her behind some of these tables and stuff. She needs to be behind that one. And I'm gonna have her just pop on. I'm also gonna have him just pop on. So these are all zero. Coffee needs to pop on. Everything needs to be zero, pretty much. Okay, now let's go back to our first scene. Remember when I did the preview, I said, oh, we need to change some things. This scribbled on. I don't like the scribble effect. And then the hand erased here before this came on. And the hand's a male sweater hand, and I'm gonna be doing a female voiceover. So I need to change these things. So you do that over here in settings down here. And let's do the hand first. Let's find a female hand. That one will be fine. Then over here, erase mode. By default, it's in smart mode. I like to turn it off. And then the scribble, we can have it fade on instead. So I click the pencil icon, choose fade under reveal mode, save and return. And I'm not gonna have it be three seconds. I'm just gonna have a one second fade and then this girl can draw on for two seconds and then that should be fine. Now I have a image of a coffee cup spilling so let me get that. Hit the plus sign. That will be fine and then I also had uploaded earlier a speech bubble here we go, snoring speech bubble. So I thought this would be fun for him. And then that looks fine. So for this coffee, let's click the pencil icon and I'm gonna have it fade on and it's gonna be really fast. So just make it one second. And then this can be about one and a half seconds. We'll need one more scene here. This is gonna be our ending scene. Here's that same photo. And then let's do wedding bells. And then maybe we'll type in something like happy anniversary. And then of course we'll want some time at the end of this scene. This is our last scene. We'll just do seven seconds. Now, I did the voiceover earlier, so I'm just going to upload that and we'll just plug it in. Let's go ahead and click Sounds Plus, and we're going to find that voiceover and we're going to drag it in. And then we're just going to put it into position here. You notice I'm leaving about a second before I start talking. And then let's find some music. Go to Categories, Music. We we'll use this song for two. Now it's a lot longer than my video, as you can see. So what I like to do is just go to the end and just start shrinking it down. You take your cursor, it turns into a double-sided arrow. 
maybe just move it over. And you have to do this a few times. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to right click and choose fade out. And then I like to stretch the triangle a bit, make it a nice slow fade. I'm going to turn my volume down on the music. And this just comes from experience. I know this music comes on super loud. I go down to about like nine or 10% and then it's fine. Let's take a quick preview. Grandma and Grandpa always tell the story of how they met, like it's the funniest thing that ever happened in the world. They were set up on a blind date by their friends. And All right, this, this went by too fast. I need to add at the very end of the scene, so go to scene settings, a little extra time. Maybe two seconds. Gives us enough time to read this, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go again. Grandma and Grandpa always tell the story of how they met, like it's the funniest thing that ever happened in the world. They were set up on a blind date by their friends, and let's just say it didn't go well. Grandma says she was so nervous that she spilled coffee all over herself, and Grandpa okay. fell asleep, even though he had had two cups. Okay, so my whole coffee thing needs to come in earlier, so I think that's probably right here where I'm talking. So I want to shorten the end of this scene. Remember I had made it like four and a half seconds? Well. We want it more like two seconds. If I go to show preview, this little mini player comes on and then I can control where the playhead is. She's so nervous that she spilled coffee all over herself and grandpa fell asleep even though he had had two cups of coffee. It's close. I'm gonna just maybe make that one and a half seconds instead. Let's see. It's kind of a fine line in the world. They were set up on a blind date by their friends, and let's just say it didn't go well. Grandma says she was so nervous that she spilled coffee all over herself, and Grandpa fell asleep even though he had had two cups of coffee. He swears he was dreaming of their future together. Okay, so that's pretty good, and I see that scribbling, so we need to fix that. So I want to add use dreaming of their future together. I want it to stay on there just a little longer on this scene. So just a touch. Just try that. And then this pencil icon fade, save and return to uh, one and a half second. It's gonna be like one second and then that should be fine. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to shrink my music down a little because my scene got shorter. Okay, I think this is it. So we're going to take one final look and then we'll be done. Grandma and Grandpa always tell the story of how they met like it's the funniest thing that ever happened in the world. They were set up on a blind date by their friends and let's just say it didn't go well. Grandma says she was so nervous that she spilled coffee all over herself. And Grandpa fell asleep even though he had had two cups of coffee. He swears he was dreaming of their future together, but despite how disastrous their first meeting was, they ended up getting married and having six kids. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly to recreate some of your favorite family memories. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.